Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph again coming to you from Praise Christian Center World Outreach in Channel View, Texas on Houston's east side, 1100 Dale Dale, Channel View, Texas. Phone number is 281-457-5683. Again, that's 281-457-5683. That 5683 is love because we love you. I just want to encourage you again today uh, in the Lord and I encourage you for this day that the Lord has made, that he has plans for you, that he is a good God, hallelujah, and that he is the giver and sustainer of life. And you are in the right hands when you commit yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nothing but nothing is like being in the family of God. God is such an awesome, awesome provider. He's such an awesome protector. He's such an awesome, just, just everything God is, because he is, I am. Hallelujah. There's nothing you could ever desire. There's nothing you could ever need that God is not, because he, again, is I am. Matter of fact, he's taught us a principle, and that principle is to call those things that be not as though they were. You may not see them at the moment, but you still call it into your life. That's the way he practices his word himself. Praise God. So today, I want to go back with you on the book of uh, Joshua, the first chapter of the book of Joshua in verse number eight. So I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified this time. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. What did it say? It said you shall deal wisely and have good success. Isn't that awesome to think about? Is the fact that you meditate the word. What that does that do? That again, it brings you into synchronization with God. And as you are synchronized with God, then you'll be able to see things and understand how God wants you to flow and how God wants you to operate in this life that you will cause his goodness again to be released onto you. And because it's released onto you, watch this again, you will have good success as you do the things that the Lord tells you to do. Because he's a faithful God. He is so wonderful. He's so awesome. So the thing that you have to begin with, let me, let me say it like this. See, you know, again, most of you know that my favorite scripture is, is John I'm sorry, it's, it's Romans chapter 12, verse uh, 1 and 2. It says, And I beseech you, that, beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. And he says, Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your, watch this, your reasonable service. Then he says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, watch this, by the renewing of your mind, that you may be able to prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. That's his desire for you. And that's why he tells us again in, this, in, in his book, in his word, that we are to meditate on the word, hallelujah, day and night. My God, he said, because what happens again is that we begin to be producers and begin to be, become receivers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to show you something here again in the psalm because I believe that this is a very powerful, powerful uh, uh, chapter here in the psalm, praise the Lord, that will cause you to be able to rise up Hallelujah. And because it shows you, it shows us clearly how we are to have victory in the Lord. Amen. So watch this. In the book of Psalms, the first Psalm. Now, let's, let, me, let me say that again. The first Psalm. <laughs> the first Psalm. My God. Watch this. He says, beginning with verse one, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, or, or, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the way, seat of the, what, the scornful. But his delight shall be in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he, what, doth he meditate when, day, and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Now listen to this, saints. You want to be successful? You really want to have a life that's blessed? Listen to what he says right here. This is very clear, very plain, is wide open to us. He says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth, hallelujah, his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, hallelujah, and whatsoever he doeth shall what? Shall prosper. So you see what God has in mind? God wants you to have your mind on what he is saying and understand what he is doing so that you can do what? As you meditate and you, you, you meditate on his word day and night, then what happens is word becomes your desire. And because the word becomes your desire, the word begins to come out of you. And as the word comes out of you, it produces. 
it brings forth life. It brings forth desires of life. In other words, God's word is the answer to every situation and to every circumstance because God's word, again, will bring you into synchronization with God. That word synchronization sometimes is a tongue twister, but at the same time, we have to recognize the fact that God makes us one with himself. Hallelujah. You know, the word declares this, and this is an awesome thing. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. It says, let all the people praise thee. Now watch what happens as, as a result of that. Then shall the earth, what? Then shall the earth release or give up her increase. Isn't that amazing? Because why? Because you become synchronized with God, the earth obeys you. Hmm, that's a good thought. Hallelujah. And so when you synchronize with God, you are destroying so many strongholds, so many things that would try to hold your life back. Again, when you talk about being a, having a stronghold, it's simply something that's trying to take a grip on you and keep you from going forward, to keep you in one place. And not only that, but even to bring you backwards and try to destroy you or to get you out of, watch this, out of synchronization with God. God loves you too much for you to allow what the enemy brings at you to knock you out of synchronization with God. So I want to say to you, daily read the word, daily study the word, daily pray, daily worship, daily praise the Lord our God. Meditate on what he is saying and watch the production change in your life. I can.